both of you, Hi. both of you nominated for an Emmy mm. Best Supporting Actor. I mean, Brett's won a couple of years in a row. Who's going to win this year? This handsome lad, it's about time, ain't it? I should say so. I think that's how it works. I think it's a, it's a time-dependent sort of award. Yeah. They give it to whoever hasn't had it the longest. I think that's how it works. It's the uh, most handsome, right? It's the most handsome enemy. Imagine if that was an award. How bleak the industry would be if that was the yeah. <laughs> an award. Yeah, yeah. Really, this year, but this year, he was really handsome. You were very handsome this year. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's how I people think it, vote. I think it, I think it will think be it me. Will be. <laughs> the chemistry on this show and how it's changed over the past three seasons from the beginning to when you guys wrapped it up. It definitely, for me, Go, I, please. I don't want to speak on no, your behalf. say, speak. Uh, it's definitely become a lot more sexual. Mm. Uh, and I think that that's a frisson that uh, happened very naturally. Mm. Uh, it's something that began off... It got more sexual. Would you not say so? No, I, I wouldn't argue. Do you think it started off at the But I don't think it sex. started unsexual. It, yes, it definitely got more. Yeah, but but for me, but my own, our, our personal yeah. chemistry, mm -hmm. our personal chemistry, our chemistry, uh, I, I really took a lot of that home with me. Yeah. How about the three years? Your character really transformed. Say, say that again, Your sorry. character really transformed from the beginning to the end. Oh. I mean, what was it like taking that journey with your character, Jennifer? Um, it was, I think it became more it became clearer what that journey would be. By season three, I understood it a little more because to begin with, he's really cool and I've quite struggled with understanding how to do that in terms of like his specific Jamie way. And then I got to know him a bit more, got to know him, I guess just by, through power of osmosis of being hanging around him or, or being inside of him or him being inside of me. I suppose that I got, see I told you it gets more sexual as it went on. <laughs> um, I think that I, it, like, I feel like I understood what the decisions were. And the thing that changed I think is that he just made different decisions rather than he became a different person. I think that that was one of the great things that the writers did was that they kept him as the same person. Y you know, you can be a prick but you can be our prick was obviously the thing. Uh, and how was it that they signified that? Uh, with this signal. Yeah, that's it. Speculation of spin-offs? Are you guys into that idea or not so much? I get dizzy. That's a, that's a bad answer. No, I, I, uh, uh, open to all and all things. Who, who would be who would be the no, who would be like the least who are the two characters who would be the least expected to be in a spin-off? Jamie and Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie and Roy. Uh, I always wanted. There's a there's a, a woman that I always walk past as Roy in the locker room. Hello. She never speaks. I I want to know her story. Her spin That's the spin-off I want. She worked at the club. We never uh, sort of yeah. followed her. The most unique idea tonight out of everybody. Yeah, she was one of the physios, and you'd see her. I'd always say hello, but I always wondered. Where's she going? What's she hiding? You know what I mean? I pass her, I know where I'm going. Where's she going? That's the story I want to see. You're going to be going on your comedy tour. Yeah. Stopping up in Kansas City, yes? Yeah, mm -hmm. finally going to Kansas. Has Jason at all given you any of the hot spots to hit? <laughs> I, I'm so excited to go back to the source. You know what I mean? The barbecue sauce. Yeah, the original barbecue sauce. Uh, Jason is very excited. He has given me an incredibly long list. I think I'm only there for three days and I do also have to do the show, so <laughs> I've got to see how much I can fit in in that time. But I'm really excited to go to Kansas. That's fun. Yeah, yeah never that's been. Great fun. He's a huge Chiefs fan, Sudeikis. I mean, how do you think Ted Lasso, any of you guys would handle a relationship like Taylor Swift and Kelsey going out? How would that affect the team? How would he handle something like that? Now I know that those people are, I, they're a big deal. And I know that I, uh, I and I love Taylor Swift, uh, because I imagine that this may end up on the internet and that's something you have to say on the internet. Um, 
And I do, and I do uh, deeply. But I, and I, I, so, but, but I guess that my understanding of that couple is is maybe less than some people would be. So, uh, I, I think the answer is yes. It's a perfect answer. Thank you, Phil. You handled that beautifully. <laughs>